everybody and welcome back to Plastic Models by Regular Dude and part four, the final of the Hasegawa 172nd scale KI-51 Sonya. So first off, I want to give another big thanks to Keith Short for giving me this kit to build. Um, thanks a lot, Keith. It was a lot of fun. Really nice little kit. So um, let's talk about the kit. I have to say that uh, for my first modern experience with a Hasegawa kit, I was very pleased. The kit went together really well. All the parts fit really well. There wasn't a whole lot of excessive cleanup. Um, everything just went according to plan. Filler was a bare minimum and uh, it just really worked. I really enjoyed building this kit. Uh, the size, for, for the size, it's got really nice detail. The uh, panel lines, all of the molded on detail, all of that kind of stuff just looks really, really good. So maybe compared to a more modern kit, um, probably I would say the part that is maybe lacking uh, in comparison would be the cockpit interior. Or maybe even the wheels um, but there's not much to the wheels and landing gear on these aircraft so I mean that's that's not really that big a deal and the cockpit uh, there is no provision to uh, display the um, canopy open so the inside is just pretty much a moot point. Now I will have to say that I was kind of pleasantly surprised at the fit of the uh, canopy. Um, it fit really well. Canopies is one of those things that just drives me insane for multiple reasons. But in this case, um, it worked out really well. So the kit, I really enjoyed building. And here are all the components that made this kit happen. Um, I used SMS Surfacer Black, Surfacer Gray. Um, I used some Tamiya paints for the uh, main colors and the um, parts of the markings. And that's what this is right here. I mix up my... Uh, colors in these little vials that I get through um, model paint solutions and they're really awesome because you can mix up small amounts of paint and uh, have them on hand and these keep for a really long time so if you've got a couple of projects that use the same colors you can save these things um, the paint will keep for a good while <laughs> but it's uh, paint and Mr. Leveling Thinner. And then for um, the interior, I used MRP. For the yellow on the markings, I used MRP. For um, anything silver or um, the metal color underneath the chipping I did, I used SMS Metallics. I uh, used... SMS Premium White for the background on the Hino Maru's, uh, the round circle insignias. And then used Rubber Black for the black stuff, including the tires. Used MIG Rust Tracks for the exhaust. And then just to do a little bit of weathering, um, I used some hairspray chipping method for the paint. And then I hit the whole thing with Ultimate Weathering Wash Light Dirt. Kept it super simple and um, made it really quick. And I dig the result. So there you have it. That's pretty much it. My final thoughts. Would I recommend this for a beginner? Yes, I would. Most definitely. It's a very easy kit to build. I think anybody could pick this kit up and go to town on it. Now the one drawback is the instructions are completely in Japanese, but uh, the illustrations are such that it's very easy to follow and um, you can uh, 
figure out the colors just by looking online. But otherwise, really, really nice kit. Again, thanks, Keith. I appreciate it. For all of you who have been following along with this build, I appreciate it. If you have any uh, comments, hints, tips, any of that kind of stuff, um, put them in the comments section down below. And uh, now I will leave you with a quick slideshow of the aircraft. I hope you enjoy. And until next time, thanks for watching Plastic Models by a Regular Dude. And I will see you all later.